Now we're going to use Simplify 3D and it's very similar to the other ones. So I've got a model here and uh, let's see, I can't hit the right mouse button. So I'm going to go up to mesh. No, edit. That's right. Edit and duplicate or control D. How many copies do I want? I just want two and I'm going to hit copies and there they get listed off right there, right there. But there's our models right there. Now to squish them all together, what you want to do is hold down shift and hit this center and arrange button. Bam, just like that. And that kind of holding down shift uh, centers them all to the same point. It's kind of handy. So you have your list up here. Let's start at the first one. And uh, in fact, let's just double click it. That's going to open up a window on this side. Or let's see. That side. <laughs> it's going to open up a window there. And for some reason, the offset is at minus five. And I, and I don't, I honestly, I, I don't know why. I hold down shift and hit center and arrange. And uh, that's what it comes up with. But we don't want minus five. We want zero for that one. We want zero. Everything should start out at zero unless for some reason your, your build plate is a half a millimeter short. Okay, so we go to the second one. It says it's at minus five. We don't want that. It needs to be 5.25, just like the last one. Okay, and then uh, this one, it's going to be not minus five, it's gonna be 10.5. There we go. And if we move this around, we can see the spaces in between, super duper handy. Uh, I'm just gonna hit done over here. And as long as our process is set up correctly, so 0.25 for the layer height, the first layer height is going to be 100% of the layer height. Okay, and which means that we should be able to slice this. And there we go. There we go. There it is. Let's see. Let's uh, bring this back. Okay, so the first one, it does that. It's got a little gap. So it goes up there. It's building it up. Top layer, top layer, top layer. Oh, and there's the little, there's that gap. There's that gap right there. And so, uh, let's see. So, for... Uh, it's putting a, <laughs> okay, I don't understand this. It's putting the first layer higher than the build plate. And it could be that something is set up. Uh, there might be, is there an offset? Is there an offset in here? Uh, okay, well, anyway, in Simplify 3D, what's going on there? Uh, you can tell that we were able to space out the models. You can tell that we were able to slice it and it was correct. Maybe it needed that, that minus 0.5 for some reason. Maybe this profile isn't set up correctly, but uh, you should at least have seen that we were able to get to that point where we separated the models and you should be good to go. And that's how you stack prints in Simplify 3D, but we're not done. You can go check out Cura right here or Idea Maker right here. Or you could check out Prusa Slicer right here. Or if you're ready to go to the end and find out if it worked, you can click right there, right there, or there, or there. Click right there, right there, right there, or there, or there, or click there. Oh, no, click that one, click that one, that one, that one.